Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to use Animoji on your iPhone 10. So I'm going to go and open up the Messages app, and I'm here in a text message conversation. You'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner we have our app icons for all the iMessage apps. So the third one I have in here is that little monkey icon, and if I tap on that, it's going to open up the Animoji. And I can even swipe up right here on this little bar and open it up full screen. Now the way this works is you're going to kind of point the phone at you like you were taking a selfie and you can see all the different characters that you can choose from. Some of them have kind of cool little animations that go along with it. So if I tap on this alien here, you'll notice it kind of goes along with my mouth, but if I raise my eyebrows or kind of make some funny faces, the alien head kind of morphs and moves and gives it some nice little neat animations. So you can choose any one of these here. You'll notice that the mouth and eyes are moving along with what I'm doing. So the mouth is trying to kind of mimic what I'm saying. And then I can even kind of rotate my head back and forth and it goes along with me. Now, if you kind of have something blocking your face, like I have a microphone in front of my face right now, it's a little hard to get all of the details, but you can see that the mouth is moving along with me. And with some of the more recent iOS updates, they've added more Animoji, such as the lion, the dragon, the skull, and even the bear down here in the bottom of the screen. So the Animojis are exclusive to the iPhone 10, but what's neat is they're not exclusive to the iPhone platform if you want to send them. So I can record an Animoji just by tapping the record button. You'll notice I have a 10 second countdown in the top right hand corner of the Animoji itself. So go ahead and record 10 seconds. And then once that's done, we can either hit stop to cut it short or just let it go for the full 10 seconds. So now I can send the Animoji. You'll notice that this one is actually a text message conversation. So it's just going to send this as a regular video. But if we were using an iMessage, it'll send through as a video as well. But with iMessage, you get the full resolution video file. And with a text message over MMS, you're kind of compressing the video file itself. And if you ever receive an Animoji, all you have to do is tap full screen. And then you have these playback controls at the bottom of the screen where you can play and pause the Animoji and then play it back so that way you can see what your friends have sent you. So that is how you use the Animoji on your iPhone 10. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech. If you found this video useful, give it a like, and we'll see you in the next one.